Hello darlings, um, today I'll be discussing with you five beauty products that I use on a daily basis. These are products that I reach for all the time, every single day. And I thought it would be awesome to share it with you. Um, this isn't beauty as in my, I guess, beauty regimen, what I use, like products that I use on my face, but these are more makeup products. Um, and I think I have some really good stuff for you, although it's just five, but yeah, let's get to it. The first is my foundation. I use the Clinique Stay Matte or Free Makeup. And um, I really like this foundation because um, it does have a sheer to moderate coverage. It's sheer enough that I could use it every day where it doesn't feel like, you know, I'm all caked up, I have loads of makeup on. It's just very sheer, almost like a tinted moisturizer, but you're getting the foundation part of it you know um, and then it has a moderate coverage where it still has enough coverage to cover my blemishes so I really like this the color that I use is 26 ember um, yeah I, I love it the second thing that I reach for on a daily basis and I think everyone should go out to get this if you don't already have it is this it's the original beauty blender and I think I can give my own opinion about this because I've used this. And this I wound up buying while I was out shopping with my mom. I think at a drugstore or at Marshalls or something. And I just thought, oh, what's the hype about this blender? I didn't realize that there was an original one. So I purchased this. And it was later on that I went to Sephora and I realized that this was the original one. And then I purchased this and I'm like, wow, what a difference. What a difference because with this, um, I guess the particles, which is also foamy, the foamy particles that makes up the inside is very tight knit, you know, like, so no air almost on the inside. So it's very stiff, rigid, and it's hard to go places. It doesn't really blend well. And even when you try to wash it, to take off the makeup is such a problem. Uh, but with this, it's so, oh my god, it's like the best thing ever. You could also use this, I find, for your foundation. So actually, today I used it to, um, I guess, with my highlights under my eye area. Um, it is great. You use it wet, actually. So when you purchase it, it actually comes at a fraction of the size, so much smaller. Um, and then when you soak it underwater, it poofs, you know, expands into this awesome magic, you know, sponge thingamajigger. Um, <laughs> and um, I love to use it wet. I, you can use it dry too if you'd like, if that's your thing, but I love to use it wet. And I actually just save this canister that it came with and just place it on here to air dry once I'm done using it. And um, yeah, that's that. So go out and get it. It's awesome. Number three thing that I use all the time is this. My Sephora Long Lasting Eyeliner in color noir black well noir is french for black so yeah um i really like this because it's you know it's just very precise and it's very pigmented um it's almost foolproof because i really don't make mistakes while using this once you draw out your line you're able to kind of like color it in and um you know i love it i use it all the time every day um, so I, you know, over the weekend I get, I, I create a more dramatic winged look and for my work days, you know, cause I work in a professional setting, I create a more moderate winged look. Um, it's always sold out at Sephora. So whenever I go, I try to buy like three or four at the same time. Don't get the waterproof one that I tried it. It wasn't that great. It's just the regular black one. Um, yes, yeah, so it's always sold out. I guess everyone knows the secret. Everyone knows Victoria's Secret. It's not a secret after all. Um, the fourth thing that I love to use all the time is what I use for my eyebrows. And the thing is, like, you know, I get... Okay, before I go into the products that I use for my eyebrows, is that I have a confession to make. I have no eyebrows. Like, I literally have no eyebrows. I have, like, this scrawny little hair that thinks that it could pass for eyebrows. No, no. No. So, you know, I had to do something. I had to do something about that. And over the years, I've just kind of like, you know, practiced and learned and picked up different tips and tricks. So I now have a way that I, you know, that works for me that I'm able to, you know, come up with this beautiful magic I have on right now. 
Um, <laughs> so people often ask me, like, the, I get compliments, loads of compliments on my eyebrows. Um, oh my god, your eyebrows are so perfect. Do you use powder? No, I don't use powder. I use this. And what is this? This is MAC Eyebrows um, Crayon Pencil. And I usually use the color Spiked. I've tried Stud before, but it's a bit too dark. Um, you know, and it just kind of looks mm, bad. So <laughs> Spiked is a bit more lighter brown or darker brown. So it's more natural looking. And um, no, I don't use a stencil to draw my brows. You know, I just use this. Simply this. Um, and what it looks like on the inside is actually... Um, you know, it's just, it has a cap and it's a twist top kind of pencil. Um, a lot of people use this actually, so if you don't, you should try it out. It's pretty good. The last and final thing that I use is this very awesome little brush. It's a stippling brush. I use this for my foundation. You know what? Gone are the days where you use a flat haired foundation brush to apply foundation on your face. Don't get me wrong, I still use a foundation brush, however, for different things now, not for foundation on my face. If you still use flat head foundation brush, you know what, a moment of silence for those who still do that. No, don't do it. Use this. This is awesome. If you don't want to use this, use this. But this is awesome. Like, you know what, I just put a little bit of my foundation, so this Clinique Stay Matte on here, you know, I dot, 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 dot and take this and you go in a stippling motion stipple 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 it is awesome you know it kind of gives you that airbrushed finish that you know like I saw a big difference when I try to use that when I started to use this and the funny thing is that during the hype of this whole stippling brush I actually just purchased one online and it's been the only one that I've used so I purchased it from BH Cosmetics so it's very inexpensive. This was $10. I remember, I think, yeah, nine something. So $10. Um, it is awesome. And I've had it for a while. So it's lasted quite a bit. Um, I'll need to get one soon, a replacement soon. But it's $10. It's really awesome. You need to use this. Get with the program. Um, anyway, that, that concludes my beauty products for today. Five top ones. Of course, I use more than that. Um, if you um, have any questions, I think I'm going to link these below this video. Um, and that's it. Bye, guys.